everyone, I am back again, and before The Last Jedi comes out, I wanted to do my retro reviews on the Star Wars movies leading up to um, The Last Jedi, and um, I will be skipping the prequels. Um, <laughs> it's not that I dislike the prequels, it's just that I don't, I'm not the fondest of them and I haven't seen them in a while all the way through so I feel like I'd have to watch them again and <laughs> no time um so I will be doing it from um A New Hope through The Force Awakens and um yeah so I'm gonna start the so A New Hope was the very first Star Wars movie and I feel like it was so groundbreaking um not just for its time but for movies in general in the grand scheme of films I feel like it not just the effects but I feel like the way the story was told and um you hadn't really seen a very well written not saying the whole movie was like this well written masterpiece but you hadn't seen something taken so seriously like a space opera kind of thing taken so seriously like it was all kind of like cheesy stuff and i just remember um mark hamill would talk about this movie and say like he went to like a screening of another movie but they knew the trailer him and carrie fisher went and they knew that the trailer was going to play in front of this other movie. So they went to see the trailer. And people, like, mocked it and laughed at it. Because no one, it makes sense, because no one had ever seen a space movie that was a success. Or something that wasn't, like, a laughable, cheesy, tongue-in-cheek kind of thing. Um, and I just love, I mean, I'm not going to go through the plot of the film I mean I feel like if you're watching this you've seen it before a thousand times I'm a huge Star Wars fan so I just want to talk touch base on the characters are just so likable and I think that's why this has continued on and this has become such a universal thing is that the characters are so likable and you had a strong female, now I'm not like this huge, like, you know, women, yes, but we had such a strong female character, and you didn't really see a lot of them, like, the characters that you had growing up, even in the past couple of years, not the last couple of years, but for when I was younger too, you didn't get a lot of strong female characters, you've had some since then over the years, like, Ripley, and um, I'm like blanking on everyone else, Terminator, Connor, Sarah Connor, and Princess Leia was such a strong character that she didn't need the boys to come and save her. She was, she was ready to shoot and she was ready to, you know, take on the whole empire by herself. And it introduced us to these characters and I really, really... I feel like it's such a fun movie where the other one, the other two, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, I feel like they had their own tones. This one I feel is the most fun. It is the easiest to watch. Um, except for, except for the beginning where C-3PO and R2-D2, which I've come to love the beginning part, of, but it kind of drags a little bit in the beginning, but it is such a fun story. You see yourself on, you see yourself as Luke Skywalker, and it is just such a great film that I can see why there was so much hype around it and love for it um, when it first came out. And I think that George Lucas, say what you want about him now, I feel like he has, he was such a visionary, and he he it took from previous things like there's a lot of like war movie references and like it feels like scenes from like a like an old timey war film um but he was such a visionary in what he 
it wasn't the genre itself what like i said wasn't a thing that people were really taking seriously he had this vision and it turned out to be this big successful thing and i just loved i just loved all the characters han solo amazing character one of the best characters of all time princess leia luke obi-wan it was just the start of it all and you have to no matter what you think of the whole star wars you know lexicon it's it, it's something special and just watching this movie you can feel the magic of it and why it stands apart from all um the kind of movies that were trying to be like it later on um so that has been my kind of little mini review i didn't want to take it too long but that is my review of a new hope i really really hope you've liked this a new hope in the grand scheme of things is not my favorite star wars movie but i just it's such an enjoyable movie and it, it definitely holds a place in my heart and i definitely watch it like six times a year every year so um I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be doing one for each of the Star Wars movies leading up to The Last Jedi, which I am freaking out about because it is a month away. And um, yeah, so tell me down below, um, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Are you looking forward to The Last Jedi? And um, in which trilogy, I know this next trilogy isn't done yet, but which trilogy do you prefer and like what is your listing what is your ranking of the star wars movies i'd be really interested in seeing that so um i hope you guys enjoyed this i know i didn't get into great depth of it but i just wanted to rant about my love for it and um i hope you guys appreciate it uh thanks again for watching <laughs> i don't know why it's such an awkward ending thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys for my next retro review for Empire Strikes Back. Uh, okay, bye guys.